Here they are, the Woodman Life Street Stocks, Crate Racing USA Style, four wide. All right, folks, here we go. We roll into the VP Racing Lubricant Smooth and Clean start of the race. Here we go. 30 car strong, Great Racing USA Street Stocks presented by Woodman Life, SRE Electrical, and all the fine sponsors that make it happen. And right away, bad luck. Now that's Cameron Metz. Didn't even make it to the line. Now he's back underway start here the field will roll into the vp racing lubricant smooth and clean starting zone here we go back at it here at all tech green flag underway yeah much better start that time and it's going to be ivan at lloyd on the outside leading a field through turns one and two they're going to try to go around dalton peavy here rod tucker down low yeah that's one of the favorites coming in rod tucker keep your eyes on that car number 24 of tucker Long race ahead, Austin. I tell you what, we pass ourselves as the drivers do the same. They know they've got a hundred laps. You can tell a little bit of give and take happening out there right now, Austin. Yeah, I just want to take it easy, log some laps here at the beginning of this race. Right, Corey Neal Jr. starting at the tail, basically, in the 12 car for the Dirty White Girl Motorsports and Bubba Beville and the BBR racing team. And right now, Rod Tucker holding on to that second spot. You see Patrick Williams in third. Williams gets a run down the back straightaway, closes in on the 24th Tucker. Patrick Williams with a brand new power plant in car number nine. Closing in on Rod Tucker. Dalton Peavy there, your pole sitter in fourth. And Caleb McLaughlin in the top five, car number 83. A little further back, see some side-by-side -side action there. Chad Thrash, oh, looks like he's at Trey Bright in the nine. Andrew Stone there as well. That is the battle for the seventh position. And give it to Thrash. Not much give and take going on back there for some of these spots. I see a little, a little bumping and grinding going on through the field. Yeah, well, further back, you have some fast cars back there. They know they have to make their way to the front. Uh, 100 laps is a long time, but when you're starting in the back, you got to make as many passes as you can when the opportunities present themselves. Yeah, that's 100% correct. You got to take advantage of any 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 little thing you can when you're racing with the with the likes of some of the competition that's out here this weekend. I mean, we've got a stacked field, and there's 30 of them out there, Austin. And right now it is Ivan and Lloyd out in front and uh, opening up a pretty good gap. Uh, you don't want to use up all your goodie here at the beginning of this race. It's a long way to go. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stop like we said between lap 40 and 60. So Ivan's got to race to that point and then decide what do you do. You don't want to burn your tires up, and that's the thing here. A little bit more adjustability into these race cars here, so you would figure that maybe, you know, maybe you'd be able to, to get a good setup on a race car. You hope for the good setup and you can make it all 100 laps without having to even think about changing tires here tonight. Yeah, um, you know, I would expect to perhaps, you know, control the pace of this race, but right now he's just out there uh, <laughs> yeah. running qualifying laps. Yeah, 22.958 last time by Rod Tucker at 23.374 with eight laps complete, rolling up on 10, 92 laps remaining, folks. Ivan Lloyd, the professor, showing away. Ivan, a two-time Southern All-Star Super Late Model Champion, earlier in his career has won the Powell Family Memorial multiple times, has won several races here at Alltech Raceway, National Late Model Series Champion, uh, Alabama State Race winner, just so many accolades. Oh, and hard contact right here, Jimmy Wagner, and Corey Neal Jr. Oh no, that's Donnie Oden. Yeah, that's gonna be Donnie Oden. And Corey Neal Jr. was involved in that. 
He cut through the infield for that points incentive between Alltech Raceway and Need More Speedway. And here we go, folks, coming back to Green Flag Racing. They fire down there in the KRC Power Steering Restart Zone. Now, Ivan Lloyd about half car advantage on Rod Tucker. They enter turn one. Tucker down low, peeks out in front. Can he slide up in front of Lloyd? No, he can't. He's right there, though. Rod Tucker showing some strength early on here. He's good down low, but Ivan and Lloyd able to drift it off in there and get a good run down the front straight away. Lloyd not really pushing the car. It doesn't look like it to me. He's keeping it straight. Rod Tucker Big looking wreck. pretty yeah. good. And, and a melee here in coming out of turns number four. Wagner involved. Corey Neal Jr. looks like uh, the 86 of Chad Dishman. So here we go. Nine laps in. Still a long ways to go in this one, and we're back underway. Back underway here. Field rolls, rolls through the KRC restart zone. Well, and Rod Tucker got a really good restart. He's going to be a handful loss in one of our Facebook posts earlier asked the race fans who was their favorite, and a lot of people picked Rod Tucker for the win here tonight. So he's rolling the bottom side of the racetrack really well and able to keep pace with Ivan at Lloyd, who we Ivan at Lloyd will, who we know has been very strong here this weekend. Yeah, Lloyd gonna hold on to that position for now, and Tucker will slide back in second. Side by side for third. Patrick Williams on the bottom, Dalton Peavy up top. And, and you know, you gotta wonder, Austin, did the 30 lap late model event help Ivan and Lloyd because he got to see the track, what it was like. Good race car, eh? could it hurt him later? Yeah, we'll it's a see. a lot of uh, racing. Yeah, long ways to go and yeah, he sure is uh, putting down some blistering laps here yeah, and 22, early going. 22.655 for the last lap of 22.695 this time. Rod Tucker, second place car, 23277. Patrick Williams right there, just kind of rolling right behind Rod Tucker. Behind Williams, Dalton Peavy, and Hayden Moran in car number 45. I uh, also want to mention there is a hard charger award on the line later on tonight. Uh, right now, Devin Walker started 19th. He's into 10th spot. Yeah, Devin Walker's got a really good race car. Look for him to be battling later in the going for that top position. He's coming through the field. He's got a good car. Battle for second shaping up. Patrick Williams looks to the inside of Rod Tucker. Tucker up against the wall. Williams down by the tractor tires off turn number two. Half car advantage on the inside for Patrick Williams. Here comes Hayden Moran. Moran looking to the inside there of Dalton Peavy. Moran just kind of rolling around the racetrack here, biding his time. He's got a good race car. Rod Tucker right up on the wall, Austin. Wow, Patrick Williams gets by. He'll take that second spot. And now two SRE cars at the front of the field. Ivan at Lloyd shows the way, and Patrick Williams has made his way now to second. You see Hayden Moran down on the inside of Dalton Peavy for fourth. Moran might have it off turn two. He's got to give PB some room there on the outside. Yeah, Moran's got a good race car right now, and you can see he's one of those drivers back in the corner, way up right now, and he's in through. A lot of patience being shown right there by the forward race car. Trey Bright back there in sixth. He is up five spots from the start of this race. As... Ivan at Lloyd continues to show the way there. We see a little further back, Rich Pratt, Devin Walker right there. You got Andy Stone up in front of them. That is the battle for 10th. Pratt looking to the inside. Yeah, that's a good battle right there for that 10th position. We talked about Devin Walker, Walker earlier. He's got a good race car. They're pacing themselves. And you can tell just by watching, there's TJ Herndon. That's ah, a tough break for him. He's going to pull it into the infield. He's done for the afternoon. 
Yeah, a tough outing for TJ Hernan making the trip down from Atwood, Tennessee. Definitely not the night he wanted. Well, that battle for 10th still looking real strong there. Andy Stone trying to hold off Rich Pratt and Devin Walker. Walker wanting that. Probably not thinking about the hard charger right now, just trying to think about getting to the front of his field and try to win this race, but uh, definitely one of the contenders for that hard charger award right now. Man, what a, what a field of race cars out here and the driving that's going on here is just great to watch throughout the whole field. Patrick Williams chases his teammate, Ivan and Lloyd. Williams being chased by Rod Tucker and Hayden Moran. That's a good battle right there. Moran edges Tucker and then Tucker will come back. It's just been cat and mouse. Moran looks good on the bottom side of the speedway. Rod Tucker throws caution to the wind every time he rolls into turns number one and two. Yeah, Moran right down on the bottom of the track. Uh, looks like there's still a little bit of moisture right down by those tires and he's putting his left front right there and getting that car to turn. Ivan Lloyd navigating some traffic there. He'll put Jimmy Wagner and Chad Dishman a lap down. Now here comes Trey Bright battling with the 24 of Rod Tucker. One driver that we really haven't talked about very much is Chad Thrash. And Thrash is one of those drivers, you just got to watch him. We watched him last night in his heat race come alive. And Chad Thrash, an accomplished racer. Keep your eyes on Thrash tonight. Yeah, driver out of Meridian, Mississippi. Uh, why not Motorsports Park, his home track. Made the trip over east to Florida and so far having a pretty solid run in the seventh spot. So we are now a quarter of the way through the race. It is Ivan and Lloyd started second and uh, he has been in control of this one so far. Six second lead over second place Patrick Williams who is now under fire from Hayden Moran and Moran Looks like he might just drive right on by Patrick Williams. I'm telling you what, Hayden Moran has been very straight as he's been passing cars. Just watch that car. He eases. He's backing up the corner, eases through the center, back to the gas, down the back straightaway. Looks like car number 68 of Johnny Allen's going to pull to the infield. And uh, these cars, they've slowed down almost a second since the start of the race. Yes. Uh, Ivan at Lloyd turned his fast time on lap 10. It was a 22.609. Last time by, it was a 23.764. And we have a slow car on the back stretch. Bo Miner. Yeah. Is he going to be able to get it off the track? Looks like he is. Check out them Miner boys on YouTube. Bo Miner. Okay. Stay in green. Yeah, there is a little access road down there inside those tractor tires. So it looks like he's going to be able to keep it out of harm's way and we'll stay green here. Ivan at Lloyd crosses the line there. 29 laps in. It feels like we've been racing forever. Yeah. Now on, on a pretty good green flag run here. And you're starting to see uh, the handle on some of these cars go away. Uh, Patrick Williams, he's dropped back to fourth as Rod Tucker was able to get by. Uh, Andy Stone, man, I, I may have jinxed him or something. I pointed him out at the beginning <laughs> of the race and he hasn't had much luck on the, the slick surface here. Devin Walker in that 10th spot. Bubba Christian side by side with Caleb McLaughlin. That is for eighth. Christian is able to make that pass off turn two. So now lap 31 being shown here. Still all Ivan and Lloyd. Yeah, Lloyd's doing a masterful job out front, trying to capture that $10,000 and the $2,000 points incentive bonus here tonight. 
There you see uh, Devin Dixon in the 90 off turn two. He's battling with the two of Andy Stone. That is for 12th and 13th. Another driver on the move up to 10th, Keenan Vandegrift started 20th. So he's plus 10 spots from the start. So is the car right in front of him, Devin Walker, running in ninth. And Walker's now going to go past Bubba Christian. Yeah, Walker is steady, marching forward. Next car on his list be Chad Thrash. 19th to 8th so far for Devin Walker. A little further up there, you see the 0-5 of Chad Thrash. Right in front of him is the 9 of Dalton Peavy. So Chad Thrash has kind of maintained the same position the whole race. Right now, he's 7th. He started 7th. Side by side, down the front straight away here. He's going to make the pass on Peavy entering turn 1. Devin Walker sees the door open up, but Peavy's going to close it. Yeah, Devin Walker's got a fast race car starting to come alive here. 35 laps complete. Walker with a charge to the front. Great run so far for Devin Walker. Further up towards the front, battle for second once again. Rod Tucker to the inside of Hayden Moran off turn number two. Patrick Williams is there as well. Second, third, and fourth all right there together. And we've all about forgot about our, our leader, Ivan and Lloyd, out front now in lap traffic. And he's got such a lead over the field. I mean, he's on the back straightaway. They're just now getting into turns into one or two. He's got about a half a track advantage on the field. Ivan and Lloyd showing the way here at Alltech Raceway. Yeah, setting a blistering pace in that 21 car. Uh, we talked about it going in. He was probably going to be the car to beat, and he is showing that so far as we're about a, th a little past a third of the way through this race. Side by side for second. We got a slower car in the mix there with Chad Dishman. He's going to hold up Moran on the bottom. Yeah, he does hold up Moran a little bit. Moran's not in a huge hurry. You can tell, Austin, that Hayden Moran is just kind of smooth, smart moves out of, out of that. Ooh, look, Hayden Moran able to get to the inside. Dishman, good driving for him right there. Now, well, these guys, they probably know they're not going to catch Ivan at Lloyd on this run. Uh, and they're guaranteed at least one more caution. So no need to use up everything you have when exactly. you're going to get another crack at it. Exactly. Well, Ivan and Lloyd has slowed down. Trouble on the back. Uh -oh. Rich Pratt spins Keenan yep. Vandegriff. Yeah. And wow. that's probably, there it is. Yellow is out. Lap 39. Uh, one lap short of that window we were talking about. Wow. Man, and, and you know, oh, man, you, what do you do here? You know? Well, you got to keep going, I you think. You got to keep going. Yeah. You got to keep going. Vandy Griff, car number eight. So race control letting the drivers know next caution is a fuel stop. We're back green flag racing here at Alltech Raceway. Ivan and Lloyd will lead the field down in the turns number one and two. Looks like a good start that time. Lloyd back out to the early advantage here. We'll keep an eye. Notables, Mike Stallnacker, keep an eye on him. We want to see if that's going to make a huge difference for car number eight. You had to try something. Ivan and Lloyd out front. Aiden Moran now under pressure. Patrick Williams dives to the inside. Moran able to hold that spot. And yeah, Moran slipped up a little bit off of four. That allowed Patrick Williams to close in, but Moran was able to stretch it back out down the back straightaway. We haven't talked about Bubba Christian much. He has made his way quietly up into the seventh position, battling with the best of the best. Yeah, great run for Bubba Christian. Started back in 14th. And he's trying to make his way up to the front, currently running in that eighth spot. Rich Pratt as well. He started 16th, and he's up to 7th. Yeah, Pratt's had a uh, eventful weekend so far. Kind of had to really race hard. We'll keep an eye on the SRE electrical cars. And there's Mike Bresnahan. 
the Bresnahan in the 14th position right now. Just easing through the field. You can see Bresnahan, he's got a lot of, of long race experience. So that's another driver you kind of got to watch in the late going. They know how to preserve their equipment. And he's battling with Dalton Peavy. Uh, Peavy started on the pole of this race, and he has dropped back to 14th. So not sure if they missed the setup, weren't expecting the track to make the changes that it has, but definitely not the run he would like to have. I don't know. I, I don't know what we're going to do with Ivan and Lloyd out front here, and I think the field is thinking the same thing. Like, oh my God, we might have to tie an anchor to him just to make it a fair race. Yeah, he is just killing it out there, way ahead of Hayden Moran. Patrick Williams staying within distance of Moran for that second spot. You have Rod Tucker in fourth. Chad Thrash now in the top five. Patrick Williams. Closing back in on Moran in car number 45. Oh, it's Rod Tucker slow up against the wall. All right, well, if this brings out a caution, you know what's going to happen. This yep. will be our fuel stop. Oh, trouble for Rod Tucker, man. No caution yet. He was running fourth. Yeah, we'll see if he's going to be able to get to the bottom of the track. I don't know if there's going to be enough time for him to do that. And there it is. There's the yellow. All right, so here we go. Lap 46, Devin Dixon, Heath Walker, a couple others. Yeah, and, and listen, that could pay dividends later on, but looking at the tires, and here we go. Oh, back green flag racing. Hayden Moran falls right in line. Looking at the tires, Austin, when I was down there walking the front straightaway, there goes Tra Chad Thrash right to the top of the racetrack, tries to find something up there, the race whip. There's something there. Look at Chad Thrash now making a charge to the front. He looked at the high side during, oh, under caution, and oh boy, he's right up there. Throw caution to the wind. Here comes Chad Thrash. And he's able to get alongside Rich Pratt and Patrick Williams. There he goes back to the top again. Oh, that, that's what you worry about right there. He yes. got away with it, but got into the wall just a bit. Yeah, you do worry about that, especially here at Alltech Raceway, but hey, Rash knows how to race. He's raced slick racetracks most of his career, coming from the Mississippi area. He's raced on the black ice over there, Mr. Johnny Stokes in the gang. Okay, we got him racing three wide around the racetrack towards the back up front. Ivan and Lloyd. And he is really setting the pace right now. It's midnight in all tech in Ellisville, Florida at Alltech Raceway, and we're still racing, folks. Yeah, and we're going to see halfway this time around race leader Ivan and Lloyd. Two and a half seconds over Hayden Moran. Cross flags this time. 50 laps in, 50 to go for your king of the streets. Chad Thrash still trying that top line. It's a matter of perfecting it here for that 0-5. Trying to get a run there on Patrick Williams. Into turn three they go. Oh, he sent it in there. Oh, Chad Thrash really hard into the corner oh. that time. He finds the wall. Hey, I think it might have helped him, though. Look at that. He caught it with the right rear. It straightened him out and got a run down the hill. He really is working something in on the top side of the racetrack here. question is how much is that hurting the right rear tire well I don't I tell you by the looks of the tires out there Austin I don't think any of the tires are really hurting I think some of these guys think that new tires are going to help them out there I'm not sure that we're going to see that we'll keep an eye on it as as the race winds down right now we're past the halfway point 52 laps in, Ivan and Lloyd comes to complete lap number 53. The Professor. Um, he's way out in front, but I'm keeping my eyes on Chad Thrash continuing to work that high line. Just one little slip up might cost him a lot though. That's the thing about running up against the wall. It really, it really is, but Chad knows how to drive a race car. And he's kind of working, trying to build a cushion up there or something. I don't know what he's doing. 
a cushion under construction down here in turns number three and four. There's some great racing further back. There you see turns one and two. Devin Walker, Michael Santangelo, and Cameron Metz. Uh, we haven't touched on Cameron Metz since he had the issue on the opening lap, but here he is in seventh spot. So I'm, I'm looking at Chad Thrash now. He's kind of brought the car back down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Little character starting to develop coming out of turn number two there. You see the move over flag for the 86 of Chad Dishman as Ivan and Lloyd continues to mount a charge on the field. 4.2 seconds. Three wide back here. Yes. How about Michael Santangelo from 23rd up to 7th? We were talking about Devin Walker perhaps being the hard charger. Right now it's Santangelo. Yeah, Santangelo having a good car right now. Good battle. Oh, Walker. Woo, Walker had to get on the binders and good driving there by everybody to avoid. That, was, that could have been bad. Yeah, I, th I honestly thought Meninga was going to run right in the back of Devin Walker, but he did a good job getting out of the way. Uh, it cost Cameron Metz some time there. And it looks like Metz is going to pull it into the infield. Oh, wow. So problems arrive for the 37 of Cameron Metz. You see a little bit of character kind of developing yep. down in turns number three and four and coming out of turns number two. That's it for Cameron Metz. Mm. Tough run for him tonight. There you see going into turn one, Chad Thrash under fire from Patrick Williams. You notice Williams start of a run. You see have a couple cars go by, and then as the long run continues on, he passes them right back. Yeah, Chad Thrash is just kind of looking for somewhere else to race. I don't think his car is very good on the bottom of the racetrack. He's trying to make that outside line work still, but Williams back alongside. It looks like he might bring Rich Pratt into the picture as well. Yeah, Rich Pratt said he was just kind of laying in the weeds as well. Pratt with a good race car. Here comes Bubba Christian, too. Lap 60 now, 61, 39 to go. And our first ever King of the Streets here at All Tech Raceway. It has been all Ivan and Lloyd up to this point. He just put Heath Walker a lap down. Yeah, Heath Walker having a struggle. Devin Walker having a great run here tonight. Yeah, Devin running in the eighth spot right there behind Michael Michael's Santangelo, now. yeah. Yeah, Santangelo out of Louisiana. Started back in 23rd, plus 16 since the start of this one. Almost five seconds back to second place. And Chad Thrash. I tell you what, on the high side, he's good. He gets down on the bottom there. His car doesn't really like it. He's looking for something different. You see sparks coming off the wall. You have to wonder, uh, is Hayden Moran still saving, or has he decided to go for it yet? It's you know, hard for us from up here in the tower to really hear their throttle inputs. So we can't really tell if he's, uh, if he's on it yet or not. I, I, You know, from talking to Hayden Moran, Moran said, this is what he said, I'm going to wait till lap 80, and I'm going to go. Well, we'll see. He is 3.5 back from Ivan at Lloyd. He gets around Heath Walker there, he was already a lap down. And this time by, it's gonna be lap 65, 35 to go for Ivan and Lloyd. Yeah, Lloyd is uh, very impressive here tonight. Ivan and Lloyd that time rolled into turns number one and almost made contact with the wall. And Hayden Moran cut it down to 3.1 seconds. Yeah, Ivan and Lloyd pushing that race car, and you got to wonder, we talked about it earlier, has the professor worked the car too hard here tonight? This time, he brings the car back down to the bottom side of the racetrack, protects his lead. Hayden Moran is closed in now, 2.75 seconds. Yes. Moran closing in on your leader. It's been about four tenths a lap. Hayden yeah. Moran is closing in on Ivan and Lloyd. 
Ivan Lloyd is in lap traffic and Hayden Moran working. If you look at Moran, he's got his car pegged down to the bottom of the racetrack here in turns number three and four, and it's really helping. Yeah, another tenth that lap. You got to wonder. I know Lloyd's having to deal with the traffic right now. Did he go too hard a little too early? Well, time will tell. Dealing with Caleb McLaughlin and Andy Stone, two cars that are pretty fast at the beginning of this race have fallen off. Now it's back up to 2.7 for Ivan and Lloyd, and McLaughlin's going to call tonight. So Caleb McLaughlin drops into the infield with 32 laps remaining in this one. It has been all Ivan and Lloyd. Picked up a win one week ago at the Southern Heritage Classic and need more speedway up in southern part of Georgia. Two weeks ago, he won a, a regular Saturday night feature here. So trying to go three weeks in a row with a win. And you talked about it, Joe, the character. Uh, down there at the inside line of three and four, there's some cars jumping up off the ground. There's some... Pretty big holes developing down there. There's some holes developing in turns number two as well. And there's Chad Dishman. He'll take it to the infield. The car number 86 done for the night for Chad Dishman. Yeah, Austin, I've uh, been noticing some changes. And some of the drivers are going to actually like that. Uh, some of these guys are used to, they say the track is just too smooth for them. So we're going to see how that works into the race. Ivan and Lloyd able to pick them up and put them down. Look at a little character here in turns number three and four. We'll watch your leader work through it. You can see right there as your leader bobbles just a little bit. It doesn't slow him down any. He actually drives right into it. And Chad Thrash back there saying, I'll just drive around it all. Still working that outside line. Yeah, Chad's having a, a, having a lot of fun up there. It looks fun from here. I don't know if it's fun for him. Well, he's having a decent run in fourth. Uh, he has fallen off from Patrick Williams now. In fact, under pressure from the zero of Rich Pratt. Ivan Lloyd's got some traffic to deal with, including his teammate. Yeah, one of them is his teammate. Yeah, Mike Bresnahan and uh, was that the 12 car, Corey Neal Jr. And that's going to allow Hayden Moran to close in. But, you know, as soon as Ivan gets free and clear of lap traffic, he's able just to drive away. And you can't expect them to just move over either. They're racing for their position as well. But yes. It looks like uh, Lloyd is able to make it through. Money on the line, Austin. You got to you gotta race. Yeah, every spot matters. So we're about to hit the three-quarter mark. This time by we'll be on lap 75. And uh, that's about when you said Hayden Moran was going to turn up the wick. He said 75, 80. He was going to start charging, and we're going to see. He said he was laying in the weeds. We'll have to see. Hayden Moran, one of those drivers that really likes Alltech Raceway, he said, I, man, I love this place. We'll yeah. have to see how much he loves it. Well, he had closed into about two and a half seconds on Ivan and Lloyd. It's stretched back out to four. Yeah, we're just over four seconds now. The interval between first and second. Ivan and Lloyd still in heavy traffic. Hayden Moran, Closing in. And that, that hole in turn four getting a little deeper there. Uh, saw Michael Santangelo run over. It looked like the whole car jumped up off the ground. <laughs> Character is good sometimes. Oh, Heath Walker slow in turns four. He makes a hard left-hand turn into the infield. Well, you know, it's... Apparently, it's not bad enough because they're still running right there through it. So. Yeah, well, a lot, like we said, a lot of these guys like the character. We watched a race here during speed weeks where a hole developed in turns number one and two, and you were here, Austin, and uh, Tim McCready ran through it every single lap on his way to win. So, you know, uh, these guys like a little character sometimes. I don't think it matters to Ivan and Lloyd right now with a, a 4.5 second lead over Hayden Moran. Patrick Williams still in that third position. Now Rich Pratt up into the fourth. Chad Thrash, fifth. Bubba Christian, sixth. Devin Walker, Michael Santangelo, Patrick Menega, Trey Bright. 
That's your top 10, folks. Yeah, and 10th place, Trey Bright, in fact, going a lap down. So, yeah. Ivan at Lloyd is lapped up to the ninth position as he gets a little sideways there. Scrubs Ivan off at, a little speed. Yeah, Ivan at Lloyd putting a smack down on the field here tonight. Yeah, he is. Uh, Hayden Moran or Patrick Williams have anything left in the tank. It's go time now. 20 laps to go in this one. Yeah, 20 to go. This is when Hayden Moran said he was going to try to turn it up. But we'll see if that, what happens here. Patrick Williams, he's got to be thinking it's go time as well. Yeah, right down on the bottom of the track for Patrick Williams. Solid third place run for him. Started fourth, so he's been up towards the front of this one the whole night. Talking well, Hayden, about our, oh, go ahead, Joe. Yeah, Hayden Moran really not closing in. The interval, 4.4 seconds. Back to second position. Ivan and Lloyd, the professor. Consistent laps, consistent lap times. Last lap at 24.279. Let's look at this next lap for Ivan and Lloyd, and we'll see just how consistent the, prof the professor is. So 24. 279 last time by for Ivan and Lloyd. He backs the corner up pretty good that time. Drives through the character. 24.279. Last lap. This lap 24.158. So really very consistent laps for Ivan and Lloyd here around the big half mile at Alltech Raceway. Yeah, and he continues to stretch it out over Hayden Moran. 4.6 seconds the gap. It's going to be 16 laps to go this time. Uh, we we're looking at that hard charger. Perhaps it was Michael Santangelo, but Patrick Meninga from 28th yeah. to 9th right now. Yeah. So, so far, he's the front runner for that uh, bonus. An amazing night of racing here. Ivan and Lloyd, our fast qualifier. Right now, Ivan and Lloyd would be the recipient of the Need More Speedway SRE Electrical points challenge between the two tracks he would he would cap that two thousand dollars and make it a twelve thousand dollar payday Looks like something might have been wrong there for the zero of rich pratt yeah he is going to slow down on the front stretch so trouble for rich pratt in the zero santangelo goes by that will give him the seventh spot yeah the pratt slow Let's see if he makes the left, and he does. He's uh, pulling in. That's it break. for Rich Pratt. Yeah, running well inside the top ten there. And right now, Ivan and Lloyd, Hayden Moran. Moran now, six seconds, the interval. Wow. Now you see some of these guys out here right now. It's like driving on ice. They're doing all they can to just hold on, but not Ivan and Lloyd. He's got this figured out. 13 to go. It's 6.1 over Hayden Moran. So if Hayden Moran was saving, I guess Ivan and Lloyd was saving just a little more. Yeah. Yeah, Ivan and Lloyd is just laying down super consistent laps. Right. I mean, they are so consistent each and every lap, and that's what's, that's what's gaining him the ground out here tonight. Hayden Moran second, still almost seven seconds now, the interval. And now putting Patrick Meninga a lap down. Just seven cars remain on the lead lap. Wow. And the caution is going to fly with 12 to go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Mike Bresnahan comes to a rest in turn two. Oh. Not what Ivan and Lloyd wanted to see, his own teammate. <laughs> no, you got to wonder what is Ivan and thinking. The field rolls into the KRC power steering restart zone. Ivan and Lloyd fires. We're back green flag racing here at Alltech. 12 laps remaining for the inaugural King of the Streets. We'll crown a king here in just a minute. Chad Thrash trying to make something happen on that outside alongside Bubba Christian. Thrash throws it in to turn three. While everyone else digging around the bottom, Hayden Moran found that hole down there. It slowed him down just a little bit. And here comes Thrash. Thrash back to the top. Ivan and Lloyd in control of this one still. 
But it is heating up for second. Thrash with a run off turn two. This time by, it's going to be 10 laps to go for Ivident Lloyd. Dominating performance by the 21 car. And Chad Thrash is clear to second. Here comes Patrick Williams for third. Thrash might have something up on the outside. Is it going to be enough to reel in the 21 of Ivident Lloyd, though? Laps continuing to tick away here for the street stocks. Oh, Thrash catches the wall. Keeps it going. Nine laps to go for Ivident Lloyd. Chad Thrash still working that outside. Caution, we got cars around in turn one. 91 laps complete, folks. Nine laps remaining. The field will roll into the KRC power steering restart zone, and here we go. And looks like Ivident Lloyd, another great restart. Chad Thrash, second position. How about Santangelo yeah. right there? Michael Santangelo, what a great run. Hayden Moran's going to battle back to the inside, but Ivident Lloyd, man, Chad, Tra Chad is up there just slapping the wall, trying to find something, trying to find a little grip. Chad Thrash not done yet. Does he have anything? Can he run down your leader? 92 laps complete. Ivident Lloyd stretching it out down the back straightaway. His last lap at 23.902. Oh boy, Chad Thrash trying to use the wall, keep the car straight. Oh, he hits the wall even harder that time. Well, Ivident Lloyd still way out in front. Look at Michael Santangelo yeah. right there, car number 77. We know when there's excitement. Uh, I'm trying. I don't know what we're screaming about. <laughs> I don't know either. We hear him back there, though. How about it? Ivan and Lloyd leads the way here. 94 laps complete. Next time by, they'll get the five fingers from the flag stand. Ivan and Lloyd, if he can close the deal here tonight, stands to win $12,000. 10 for the king of the streets and. $2,000 for the points incentive bonus between Needmore Speedway and Alltech Raceway. Compliments of SRE Electrical and Needmore Speedway. Man, Ivan and Lloyd set to win some big money here tonight. Yeah, Michael Santangelo going to take that third spot away. Look at Devin Walker up against the wall. He gets a run on Patrick Williams and drives right on by. Walker, what a good run late in the going here tonight. How about it? Devin Walker working the high side of the racetrack and Patrick Williams, trouble. Trouble for Patrick Williams. He comes to a stop in turns number four. And that's going to bring out a caution with four to go. Okay. Chad's got one more opportunity. Anybody's race still. Ivan and Lloyd has been the one to beat all night. Ooh, that restart, not oh, as we good. Go. Not as good for Ivan at that time. Oh, he still got it going, though. Yeah, he did. He, he pedaled and got it back. Oh, Chad Thrash looking really good. He's got a run on the high side. Look at Thrash trying to steal one here late. Drives Chad. it into turn three. Will it stick? Oh, boy. Chad Thrash doing it again. Look at he turns the car. It's stick at the line. It's Chad Thrash. Look at this. Look at this. A battle down to the end. The baddest street stocks in the planet. Look wow. at Chad Thrash out front. Ivan and Lloyd has got to be saying, what did I do? Ivan and Lloyd back to the bottom. Oh, he hits the character down there in turns three kind of turns the car the wrong way. Ividence, Ividence car is going away. Chad Thrash out front. Time to restart perfectly. Ivan Lloyd's led 96 laps of this race and it's slipping out of reach. Yeah, it's gone. Chad Thrash has got the car up front. If he can keep it out of the wall, he's going to go on to win big money here this weekend. White flag in the air. Austin, bring us home. Final time around for Chad Thrash. Started seventh in this race, a race that looked like was going to belong to Ivan and Lloyd. But one restart changes everything. Final times through three and four, right up against the wall. 
coming to the line. The check's going home to the Magnolia State. Chad Thrash wins the inaugural King of the Streets.